So here we have the Audi A1 on a 62 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see that given the size of it, we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Underneath this section just here, you can lift this uh, cargo liner out of the way. Uh, you've got plenty more storage should you need it. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 52,357. We work our way over into the center. We have the main screen for the car just there and below it, the buttons that will operate that screen. So we're on the main menu at the moment. Most, most of the things you see on the screen can be done using this dial and this collection of uh, four buttons just here. So using that dial, for example, you can rotate that round to the radio. You can enter your radio menu from here. Uh, you can access the different uh, wave bands. So FM and medium wave. You can go back a step, should you wish to. You can go all the way back to the main menu. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that under the media heading just here. Uh, and you can see just there, we have an SD memory card slot, CD player, and auxiliary input. So plenty of ways, all in all, uh, to listen to music in this car. Just below the screen, we have these two buttons. That's your hazard warning lights, of course. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I've just turned that system off. Working our way down, we have the CD player, SD memory card slot, all the buttons I was using a moment ago, as well as the volume for the stereo just there. We then have air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, the direction you'd like the air to be uh, distributed in once it enters the vehicle. This button turns your air conditioning on and it will turn it off again, of course. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set on this dial just here. You can turn it off just as easily as you turned it on. Below that, we can turn off the traction control. We can turn on the heated rear screen. We have a 12 volt charging socket and the auxiliary input just underneath there. A couple of cup holders, as you can see, and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.